Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. We've just had some breaking news in regards to mythical mystery gifts and a brand new terror raid event that will be coming to Scarlet and Violet in the very near future. If we hop over to Twitter now, it is worth reiterating this mythical event right now as it stands is only confirmed for Japan. But going off previous events in the past, we had one for Sword and Shield, for Genesect, a Volcanian and a Mars Shadow. It were firstly introduced in Japan and then came to the rest of the world. So on that basis, everyone's kind of pinning their hopes on this mythical distribution happening in Japan. It's been announced and it will make its way over to the rest of the world very soon for these exact same Pokemon. Now, the mythical Pokemon were teased in a distribution event that was announced a while ago, happening on the 22nd of November in Japan, and it will run through till the 30th of April where mythical Pokemon would be given out. Although at the time, up until Joe's tweet just now, further details of these mythical Pokemon that were going to be distributed haven't been announced. That is until now, of course, with this tweet, we have obviously had the leaflet from an in-store insider that has given this information out, I think, because it hasn't been announced on any official comms just yet. But knowing that Joe's put this out, you can pretty much reliably know that this is official source material that Joe's been able to get this information from. So you can see the mythical event in Japan is going to feature Deoxys, Keldeo and Zerud. Very exciting. These mythical Pokemon will be distributed. How they will be distributed when they come over to this side of the globe, who knows? If they do it like they did last time, it'll be in game stores, GameStop stores, places like that. We'll have to go and get a download code you'll put it into your mystery gift section in Scarlet and Violet and then you'll get it that way. So if it's like that, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, nothing has been confirmed outside of Japan yet, so don't get your hopes up too much. But the big takeaway, I think, is the fact that the shiny Rayquaza has also been announced as a terror raid battle, which will be happening from the 20th of December. So this is huge news because we've seen in the anime recently the shiny Rayquaza been kind of featured in episodes and it is due to come back as well in the anime and I think to celebrate that to kind of give a nod to the anime like they do they're doing a terror raid battle for Shining Rayquaza and now it'd be very cool if there was a similar situation like we had with that Mew and Mew 2 battle because we know the rivalry that is there between Deoxys and Rayquaza already from previous games if that mythical event for Deoxys happens for us as well outside of Japan, then there's some sort of way where we can use maybe Deoxys to go up against Rayquaza. It seems like it would be better the other way around as a player, but it'd be very cool if we can go up against it. There's a lot of other chatter at the minute as well going around, maybe thinking that the Shiny Rayquaza raid might be like the Zera Aura max raid battles that we had in Sword and Shield, where a shiny Zera Aura was going to be distributed, but you had to beat a certain amount of Zera Aura over a weekend worldwide to get that event. Uh, everyone actually managed to do that, so shiny Zera Aura was distributed later on after that. That might be the same case where we can't catch the shiny Rayquaza in the raid battle, but if a number are beaten, then everyone that took part in that raid event does get the Rayquaza as a reward. Who knows what is going to happen, but we know from the 20th of December, that raid battle is going to happen. So that is very exciting, whether it's a five star or a seven star, I would assume it's going to be a seven star raid. So it's very, very exciting news that we're going to be getting a brand new special raid event. That's not one of the starter Pokemon. We've got Torterra to go. We've got the Feraligatr happening at the minute. Torterra should happen next week. And then we're going to have a bit of a gap. We've obviously got the two year anniversary of Scarlet and Violet coming up as well. You can imagine this mythical distribution that's happening in Japan, which has been confirmed in Japan might get confirmed to be coming to the rest of the world as a celebration of the two year anniversary of Scarlet and Violet. At least that's what I would assume is going to happen. But till we get further confirmation of this coming outside of Japan, happening outside of Japan, we'll have to wait and see. But as it stands, it has been confirmed that Deoxys, Keldeo and Zerud will be distributed in Japan starting on the 22nd of November. So not too long away now. And then on the 20th of December, we've got that Rayquaza, shiny Rayquaza terror raid battle which is going to be very exciting let me know your thoughts down below do you think these mythical pokemon will be coming to the rest of the world i would assume they would be and what are your thoughts on this shiny rayquaza terror raid battle it has all but been officially confirmed uh that's coming to scotland Valley very soon and how hard do you think it's going to be is it going to match 
the difficulty that we had with that Mewtwo, because that Mewtwo was something else. Um, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. Thank you for tuning in. That's all we've got for today. Any further updates, of course, on any of these events coming to the rest of the world outside of Japan and any official confirmation of them and the Shining Rayquaza Terror Raid Battle we'll cover here on the channel. If you want to stay up to date with all of that news, make sure you do hit the subscribe button, turn the bell for notifications so you don't miss those videos when they go live. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.